I came up with a great chicken recipe, guys. You're going to love this one. Don't forget to subscribe, all right, guys? And when you do, let us know. Leave us a comment so we can reach out and thank you guys personally. We really appreciate it. You guys are going to love this recipe. I used the new Modelo Chilada Mango Chili Beer and came up with a marinade around that. The stuff is, is so perfect for marinating chicken that you guys should all definitely give it a shot come up with your own ways to use it but use it my way whatever you want to do but you're gonna love it it's definitely kicks it up a notch so we're gonna add a, about a quarter cup of chopped fresh cilantro some garlic powder a little bit of ground cumin little bit of fine ground cinnamon not too much just a little bit little crushed red pepper a little bit of onion powder and just a little bit of salt And now it's time to add the star of the show, the Modelo Chilada Mango Chili. Guys, I don't know if this is a beer. It has beer in it. Uh, so I guess it's a type of a beer, but you got to check it out if you can get your hands on it. It's pretty good to drink straight up, but it's also perfect marinate. So just pour some in. You just want to, you know, don't waste it, guys. Just pour enough to cover the chicken. I'm sure we can figure out something to do with what's left over. And just stir the spices in. Get it all nice mixed up really good. Okay. So once this is all mixed up really good, you're basically just going to set it to the side. You can cover it. And in a couple of seconds, we're going to go out and heat up the tandoori and let this stuff marinate for a good hour hour and a half at minimum so now we firing up the tandoori I'm not gonna get too uh, much into the details about it I got some videos out there on you know how to fire a tandoori but I threw some shots in on you know quick stuff on how basically how it's done without getting too much into explaining it to you guys so check this out and once it's fired up really good and warmed up about an hour hour after it gets fired good then we'll put the chicken in Now, once we put the baffle in, I'll put the lid on it, and then I'll just let the tandoori burn for a good hour, covered. It's gonna get nice and hot in there. I couldn't even measure the temperature with my uh, temperature probe. It blanked out at about 400, 500 degrees. So, 
I'll let this warm up for a good hour and then it'll be ready to have the chicken put in. Now we're gonna get ready to put the kebabs together. I'm gonna to slice up some chorizo. I'm gonna put that in between the chicken pieces. Okay. I'm kind of hoping that, you know, some of the juices from the chorizo will drip onto the chicken as it's cooking. And I'm gonna also put some pieces of pineapple in between just to kind of enhance the sweetness that the mango chili chilada has with it. It's a little bit sweet, so. I think between the pineapple and the chorizo and the chicken and the marinade, these things are gonna taste amazing. This potato piece will keep the meat from sliding down as it's cooking. Guys, you can't tell me that does not look amazing. And by the way, it's 30 degrees out tonight. Okay, so let's get these babies into the tandoori. And let's get this show on the road. We're gonna bake them for a little while. Might be 15, anywhere between 15 and 20 minutes, 18 minutes, something like that. You gotta keep an eye on them. Man, you can actually see the heat around the, the kebabs, right? It looks really cool. So now we're gonna cover it up and let these babies bake away in there for a little bit and check on them shortly. Okay, let's give them another check. It's been about 10, 10 12 minutes. They need to go a little bit longer. They're just starting to brown up. So I'm gonna let them go another, another five, eight minutes. Wow, I don't even know what else to say. These things came out so perfect and so tasty, tender and moist, that I'm definitely gonna, definitely gonna repeat this recipe. So guys, I hope you liked it, okay? It was definitely a good recipe, very cool product from Modelo. Check it out. I think you're definitely gonna like it. I served it up with some basmati rice that I flavored with uh, a little bit of adobo and some turmeric. And then I made a nice black bean, you know, basically black beans with some chorizo and some spices. Kept it simple. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you try the recipe. If you do, let me know. I want to know how it came out for you or any variations maybe. All right. And once again, guys, please subscribe to the channel. Like the video. If you do subscribe, let us know so we can reach out. Thank you guys personally. Okay. We really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you soon. Take care.